Oh shit, I didn't even have to set it up. It automatically picked it up. Sweet. Mm. Alright, we... right, yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta change it. In Streamlabs. Yeah. Being... No longer romancing SCP-610. Yeah. The babysitter. What should be called a babysitter? Babysitting Ro fun time. Romancing our babysitter. <laughs> you know God, what I'm no. doing with that. No, don't. There's a lot of bad implications there. <laughs> but buddy babysitting service. Okay, let's go with that. That's good. <laughs> What buddy babysitting service? <laughs> We're the butt buddy babies. I mean the butt buddy babysit. I'm but, but oh, I'm Richard Nixon. <laughs> I'm just gonna choose this one. Uh, they... Alright. It's all been changed. All right. Why don't you say you're going to choose this one? I'm confused. Because there's three games that don't really show a picture and they're all called The Babysitter. <laughs> oh. Wow. So, Fire in the Dark. Fire in the Dark, not Shot in the Dark? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing. <sighs> anyway, new game. Now let's see what is actually voice acting this time. The answer is maybe. Guardian Angel Elite Child Minding Services. This is not, that's just, this is not promising. <laughs> Child Minder required targeting of our 12 year old daughter. <laughs> Child minder. <laughs> what does that mean? It's it's some it's some fucking soulless corporation uh trying to sound chic and hip. <laughs> That's the only explanation for this. It doesn't sound right. It doesn't at all. One day later. One day later. This suburb, Whitefield Groves, is one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in a city. But it's on the outskirts of town, pretty much in the middle of nowhere. This house is like all other houses in a neighborhood. It's set far apart from its neighbors. This sure is a nice place, with a well-maintained lawn and a pool, although at this hour, it does seem a little foreboding. Gee, I wonder if it has anything to do with the fact that you're a fucking baby minder or whatever. <laughs> it's about 7 p.m. It's already full dark. Full dark. <laughs> the house seems quiet. Is the is is the house quiet or is the house full quiet? <laughs> <laughs> Mister, wait, why did I say Mister? <laughs> Mister. <laughs> Miss Raj asked you to be here by 7.30 p.m. and had been particular that you be on time. Miss Raj told you that she and her husband, Dr. Raj, are going out for the evening and she didn't want their daughter home alone. The fact that the girl is 12 and requires the sitter indicates there may be some issues here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Just uh, yay. That. yay, we're uh <laughs> We're doing a heck enableism, are we? 
apparently. Uh, so we're going from a uh, fa fascist, uh, like pseudo fascist American Alabama fucker to uh, ableist babysitter. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, baby minder. <laughs> Or it could be ju Or it could just be that the child doesn't like being alone at home after dark. That's quite normal. Why is your first inclination to question <laughs> whether or not they have a neurodivergency, and your second inclination is, well, maybe they just feel lonely? <laughs> what is this line of reasoning, bitch? <gasps> Miss Fraud sounded like a very exacting kind of parent, the type who is very mindful of every aspect of her child's care. Oh no. Mm. A very controlling parent. Mm. That always makes a very healthy-minded child. <laughs> I can't think of a single way that an overbearing parent might cause trauma on a child. Yeah. She asked you a lot of questions about your background and your qualifications. She seemed pretty finicky. What the hell did I do in my past? You can't blame her, really. These days, most parents, particularly the rich ones, pay a lot of attention to their children's upbringing. I mean, come to think of it, you did just come back from being a be, being being a gay scientist who, who who turned himself into flesh plants and apparently killed Richard Nixon. <laughs> well, I mean, I think everyone can get on board with that. Yeah. He's <laughs> Richard Nixon. Wait, is Richard Nixon? That just makes me curious. Is Richard Nixon still alive? No, I don't think so. I think he's dead. Richard Nixon. I'm pretty sure. President. There's no way he's still alive, right? I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yeah, died April April 22nd, 1994. Yeah, he's dead. How old was he? He was born in 1913. Wow. Damn. He lived to be old. <laughs> <laughs> What? How? How old was he? He was old. <laughs> it is the nature of our times, and it pays to be vigilant. Since you've been, what? it oh. it sounds almost as if you're doing like a like a pseudo lullaby voice. Yep. Why? <laughs> because it, it fits. <laughs> uh. Since you've been registered with the Guardian Angel Child Care Agency for the last three years, you've gotten good references, so you're pretty confident you would get the gig. It pays well, too. I don't like this. While you're here, you're about half an hour early, which you hope is not too early for them. You better ring the doorbell to let them know you're here. Oh, I can actually interact. The doorbell. It made a sound. Oh, it's anime time. Oh, I've still. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's anime time. Oh, it blinks. Something, something went weird on my end. And it went to stream view instead of uh, discord view while well, I stood up to do something. Do you want to voice Dr. Raj or? Uh, I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, why is the game is like Okay, now it stopped. It was like 
lagging, and the uh, music was stuttery as fuck. What the hell? <sighs> okay. Oh yes, of course you must be the babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dr. Raj. My wife told me you would be here. <laughs> you make this sound like a robot. <laughs> My dad left me when I was four. <laughs> I am an only child. <laughs> Shit. I don't know what I'm doing. You're early. That's great. Do come in. Why did I just get an eerie ghost like ghost sound as soon as do come in popped up? Uh, because um, uh, the the ghosts are horny. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm only like my brain is so fried from the last game. I am only going to be reading things in like a robot like, like voice. A, it's not even a robot voice. What I'm going for is like a, uh, like like a like a seventh grader, reading from a script for the first time. Right. That's super nervous. <laughs> uh. He steps aside and you walk into the house. This sounded like you said he sepsis aside. <laughs> <laughs> he has sepsis. <laughs> He sepsis aside. <laughs> this lounge area overlooks the lawn and the pool through the tinted black windows on your left. The floor underfoot is real wood, and the furniture looks like it costs a fortune. The wood, the floor underfoot is real wood. <laughs> mm. The floor underfoot is real wood. I mean, that's what's funny about that. I'm just imagining, like, you, you step inside of another house, it's like, oh yeah, by the way, we have plastic wood, not real wood. Well, I mean, I, like, that's basically what some linoleum is meant to be like. Uh, like, like, flooring that's meant to look like wood floors but is a cheaper alternative commonly is made out of either some kind of particle board or is um yeah basically just plastic <laughs> or uh, made out of some other synthetic material I'm, I was also thinking oh yeah we don't have real wood we have lego wood lego wood <laughs> yes <sighs> You know what? Now I want to someday build a house in which the entire floor is Lego bricks. All upturned. It would be the worst house in existence, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you have to wear shoes constantly. Oh no, you're not allowed to wear shoes. We're going Japanese oh, style. Oh my god, that's awful. You will always be stepping on the upright Legos. Uh, I will invite important businessmen to my house and then trap them in my house so that they have to constantly walk on Legos. What the hell's wrong with you? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things wrong with me. For starters, I talk with you. <laughs> oh. I'm so glad... I'm so glad you found you on such a short notice. Sir, sis, that my uh, wife lady was quite worried. <laughs> what? Wife lady is her first name now. <laughs> Just wife, wife lady. lady. That's <laughs> wife lady. That's my wife. <laughs> uh, is this problematic? Yes. Probably. <laughs> Probably is, but you know what? This guy looks like he might be problematic anyway. Actually, he's rich. He is problematic. 
<laughs> anyway, wife lady, that's my wife. <laughs> okay, let me try to actually... Shreya? Sereya? Something along those lines? Yeah. Sereya, that's my wife, was quite worried you wouldn't be able to get a st st a st oh, wouldn't be able to get a sitter on time. I at first I thought... Oh god, at first I read that as my wife wasn't sure you'd be able to get a stiffy in time. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, Dirty, you just missed us, uh, dating some flesh. Now we're on to the babysitter. Wait. <laughs> so, 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 you, so you were dating flesh. A piece, a piece of flesh. <laughs> You're not far off. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's a bit more complicated than that, but I mean, whatever. Yeah. We okay. got to watch a lovely love story uh, between um, some random Russian guy and Richard Nixon uh, combining themselves with plant meat and then turning into plant meat creatures. And then we saw another Richard Nixon. Richard Nick Nixon. Uh, Die. Richard Dixon. <laughs> yeah. Hey, no. Do you, do you guys? Sorry. Go, go ahead. Yeah. No, I was about to say. I almost said Nixon's name, but with, instead of an X with a G. <laughs> right. I almost said it. I I didn't mean to. I was oh. trying. I, I was. How? I don't know. It was about to come out. I was like N -N -N Nixon. <laughs> That's why I stuttered. It, oh god. Oh dear god. Oh god. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't, I'm tired. It took, it took me a second to figure out what the issue was. <laughs> I was, I was like, I was thinking, I was like, wait, what? And then I was like, oh yeah, now I got it. It, 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 it took me less time than Hatch, but like. Yeah, Richard Nick. Oh God, no! <laughs> God, no! Bright, go to hey, your at room. least, at least, at least, Bright didn't add an R to it. Oh hell no! I yeah. would never. I don't <laughs> even want to say the word. Uh, well, no shit. You shouldn't want to say. The word. Yeah. Uh, it, it was just so bad. I literally panicked. Uh... <laughs> oh my God, Bright. Anyway, on with the game. <sighs> wait, was this but wait, I'm confused. I thought we were trying to say something. Was someone trying to make a point about something or am I just being weird? Don't think so, Darda. Were you trying to say something? A turner is muted. <laughs> <laughs> is muted. Well, whatever. Alright, back back to reading for Dr. Raj. Yeah. You see, I got an in inf infant inf <laughs> <laughs> You got an infant. <laughs> I got an infant. My brain is too fried for this. I I about read that as <laughs> I got an inflation. <laughs> You see, I got an it in the invitation. That's what it is. I got an invitation to speak at a late evening segment of a medical cunt. Cut. This this hurts my brain. A yeah, medical cunt. Not a medical. Oh god. This is what happens when you make me voice Richard Nixon. <laughs> My brain slowly okay. turns okay. into mush. Okay, Hatch, this might this might help you. Go look in general family. I got something new that you might like. But okay, general family. Yeah. Uh, Discord slow. <laughs> Discord's still slow. You know what I'm doing since you're loading that? Uh, I'm Sweet. gonna go to... I'm gonna go to intermission and go to the bathroom. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, I, I like it. Sorry, I'm like just making food. Yeah. Better than original, right? <laughs> Back Honestly, you... way better. <laughs> yeah, be before you before you got here, we were very specifically uh um uh talking shit about the original. Well, I could bring the original back. No. Yeah, like kidding. when the the I like I still don't know how to describe it properly, but there's like some part <laughs> of my like it's it's not that that old intermission screen was bad. It's that like there was some weird part of my instinctual monkey brain that <laughs> interpreted it as being a threat to me. <laughs> like I, it just made me viscerally uncomfortable for absolutely no rational reason. What the hell is that shit? I don't know. You, you're, at, you're asking me as if I can automatically switch off how my brain reacts to that. Well, can't you? No! I, I, I know, I'm joking. I know. <laughs> I know I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, I, I if if I could switch off how my brain acts, I would switch it too. There's well, like some of it, M most of it, I'm like eh, and I'm fine about it. Like pretty much, the things I would probably switch would be like the ones that like have to do with getting like drawn into like stuff on like Twitter and Facebook and shit probably me yeah I get you but anyway I guess I gotta go back wasting uh. <laughs> okay you see I can I s my uh, my brain again read it as inflation. You see, I got an invitation to oh. speak. At... <laughs> I got an invitation to speak at a large event, the evening segment of a meta. The stream paused. Oh wait, hold on. That better? Yeah segment of a medical convention just two days ago, so the whole situation came about wow. rather abruptly. Saraya is very particular about in about in whose care okay, yeah. About in whose care we leave Maya, our daughter. We had a bad experience with our last babysitter. <sighs> okay. She is very cautious when it comes to Maya. A sense of my own apology in his tone. Oh, we get. Oh, we get choices. Okay, here we go. You get to choose. Are you I, gonna? I, are you gonna save first? I don't think there is a way to save. Yeah. Oh wait. Yes, there is. <laughs> you were about to confirm that you can't save as it was slowly fading up onto the screen. <laughs> yeah, there's no way to say. <laughs> okay, do we, do we want to say, yes, I feel that the interview was quite thorough, or it's all right, it's important to be diligent when it comes to such matters. I would probably say the second one. Second one? You can always come back. That's very true. <laughs> I can see why you gained her confidence. I'll go in and tell her you're here. I just noticed that he blinks. You didn't? Yeah, I said he blinks. I, when did you say that? 
Oh, oh when he came, first came in, when we first saw the character, I said, oh, oh he blinks. I did not hear that. <laughs> Are you gaslighting me? Yes. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. You could have at least stuck to it. What? Edgy, oh wait, no. What? What did you mean by gaslighting? I, I, I did say that they did blink. Oh, okay, no. Get gaslighting means uh, it, it's a, it's a type of manipulation in which you try to convince a person reality, like to, to make them doubt their experiences, basically. Oh, then never mind. Yeah, they, they I, I did say they blinked. Yeah. How? Wait a minute. You've been playing Among Us for this long. People talking about gaslighting, and you don't know what gaslighting is. Ush. No. Why are you bonking me of all people? <laughs> anyway. Since you accidentally skipped forward, I think it was something like, she's off getting ready, or my wife's getting ready. Then, I'll then... Oh, Why'd shit. You over... You, over you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Looks like we're not making the other choice. No, wait. No, but you over... It looked like you overwrit the game. No, don't... Why are we... We don't need to restart. <laughs> oh. I didn't know how to reload. Well, we could have just continued. That's fine. Now we just gotta skip all through here. Okay. How many times has Bright done this? Once. <laughs> 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 Bookworm, LMAO, restarting to gain our save file back. <laughs> True gamer behavior. The thing is, I don't know how, to, oh how to, like, without clicking and overwrite it. You would probably just have to quit. Uh. So. Create a new save? There's, like, when you go to main menu, it's just new game. Well. Anyway, oh, there's here. no, like... Yeah. There's no What's continue? There? there you go, Hatchet. I'll go in and tell her you're here. She's bare. She's just getting ready. I'll then grab my coat and head out to the car, so I'll see you next when we're back. What? Okay. This seems like fairly self-explanatory information. You don't need to describe your entire schedule. <laughs> it was a pleasure meeting you. Do make yourself comfortable. Uh, what? Woman what did lady. I? It, no, <laughs> don't. <laughs> the Sarah, 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 will be out in a second. Shreya, Shreya, Shreya. It's Shreya. Yeah. Well, Adarna knows how to say these names. <laughs> Adarna, our language expert. No. That's Momo. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, both Bright and I sent Momo the statement, I fuck plants, earlier. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you see, it's all related to the previous game we were playing, where we had a running joke that the main character fucked the animal plant creatures that they were making. 
And then it turns out that he was. It's just that he was fucking his boyfriend, who was an animal plant creature all along. Yep. What? Okay. We broke a dirt. And the dirt is dead. Good. Good. We we are we just committed murder. Doctor Raj leaves you, and you wait for Miss Raj. We refer to well. We don't need that parentheses bit. We know that. <laughs> what? What he's it, talking it would, about? It wouldn't be. It would be. It wouldn't be murder. <laughs> it would be uh, manslaughter. It would be. It would be manslaughter. Okay, fair. fair. Yeah. Well, woman slaughter in my case. <laughs> I'm pre- I'm I'm sorry to say this, but I'm pretty sure the 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 legal terminology is just manslaughter. I think that's the name of the crime. Envy <laughs> <In be slaw. laughs> slaughter. Envy slaughter. Envy slaughter. Envy slaughter. Envy slaughter. Anyway. <laughs> he seems pleasant, if a little absent. A rather stark difference to Miss Raj, who sounded formal and humorless on the call. It must be pleasant here during the day. The glass doors on your left letting in natural light, but now at night the windows look out into darkness and the trees bordering the lawn throw deep shadows. I did nothing. Oh my gosh. I see and that. And be slot. It's understandable now why they would not oh want gosh. their child to spend a late evening alone. The house is large and isolated from its neighbors. And the neighborhood is itself rather lonesome. Children with their active imaginations can easily get distressed after dark in such environment. Every creak and every night sound taking on sinister undertones. Oh, she's got big boobs. That shouldn't be your first instinct to Wait, say. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> right. What? <laughs> hey, I'm and flat. Like, Adorna, you are yeah, breaking but... up. Yeah, you're breaking up. Two. Two. You're still no, breaking nope, up. Nope. Still, still breaking up. Okay. As a flat chested person, I am allowed to say other people have big boobs. No, that's, no, that's not how that works. No, no, but as I asked. You're still you're breaking still, up. You're still, like, very um, robust. Oh, I'm still breaking up. Oh, I think I'm fine now. Yeah, you're fine now. Well, no, still. Oh, wait, no. No, uh, you're back. The there up. we go. There we go. Okay, now you're There back. we go. Um. <clears throat> now I know that I gotta do. do, 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 do. Boom. Bitch. There we go. Fucking hot. Uh. Um. Well, I love Bookmore's message. First, just calling her wife lady, and now focusing on her boobs. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. And see, that's the thing. I have the excuse of it turn of of me having <laughs> troubles saying like saying her name because my brain is fried after having done both 
Albert and Nixon oh. continuously for an hour and a half. Meanwhile, oh, you, can, you can just use Miss Raj. You could just you could just say Miss Raj. Oh so, yeah, I know that. It's just like so no, I mean like person. before you got here. Yeah. Um, I ended up uh, like stuttering on her first name, trying to say it, and and my brain just gave up, and eventually I said something along the lines of "wife lady." Yeah. <laughs> and Booker oh says, my "True." Also, we could refer to the guy as man husband. Balance makes it better, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, no, um, that makes it hundred percent better. Or we could just call them by their names and not have the 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 half brain dead at envy slot over here trying to remember these things. Right. We could also do that. And anyway. we could also, you know, just not immediately also, right? commenting on a girl's chest when we first see her. Uh-huh. Also bright, like, boom. I see that. Bonk boom. Bright. <laughs> Bonk boom. Bright. Boom. 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 There we go. Boom. <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway. Hello there. And how? Oh, no. And how <laughs> you get the boom? <laughs> what? What? There we go. Don't do that, boys. <laughs> Why? I don't deserve these box. <laughs> Why don't you like that voice? Oh you? no, you, you you do, you do. Re remember I... the um, hatch. Remember the inflation. <laughs> okay, I guess that's valid. <laughs> What's wrong with these voice? Stop. Just, just don't. Okay. What the fuck, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I don't know what voice to give this one. Right, that's the wrong voice for this game. <laughs> yeah, it's for kindergarten. Alright, so Hatchet, are you wanting to read this character or no? I my head hurts so bad. I'll take that as a no. Alright. Uh, hello there. We have spoken on the phone. Thank you for being early to- I appreciate that. As... An- An and... My husband might have told you we're attending a medical convention and he is one of the keynote speakers for the evening. The organizers. Anand? Maybe. I think that's pronounced Anand. Probably. Yeah. The organizers. I, just... I thought I thought that was like a mistake for a second. I'm like, oh yeah, no, it's it's Anand. <laughs> yeah. The organizers just called us a few minutes ago and told us that the traffic around the convention center is a nightmare and that we should start out early if, if we wanted to get there on time. So now we have to leave half an hour earlier. The organizer seems so well disorganized. Her tone is clipped. She is clearly a woman who does not like it when plan go plans go awry and situations get unpredictable. Awry? When plans go awry? I don't know how to say that word. I've never awry. seen it before. I have never, never seen, seen that seen... word. You've never seen the word awry before? Yeah, I- You I, haven't I, seen it? No, I thought that was a misspelling or something. Have you at least heard it? No. Have you at least heard it? No. My plans went awry. Right. You should have- You should have at least heard it once. Nope. That is an extremely common English term. Is English <laughs> yeah. your second and language all of a sudden? <laughs> it is extremely- It's extremely common, like- Wait, um, Bookworm said I used to it's call it all. Extremely. Oh. Ari. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Bookworm said yeah, I used to call it Ari before. I got you, Bright. I <laughs> see, I'm not the only one. So. <laughs> okay. That, 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 that doesn't. That doesn't. Distract from the fact that you have. 
I'm, you don't think you've heard the word of Rai before, even though it's used in like about half the movies, like that half the movies and like TV shows like that are on at least once. I watch anime. <laughs> it showed up in anime too. Or, or did yes, it? It's been, it's been in anime too, I think. Well, I just never really heard that word. I don't remember hearing that word. Unless you've, like, prob unless you watch, like, though, like, they might have a word for it in, like, Japanese. Well, Probably. like, they might have a word that, like, we translate to it in Japanese, so. Yeah, uh, Bookworm says, to be honest, it's hard to know how they spell their words with or without captions or something. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Oh. No. No, no, it's... I'm... I'm... We, we asked if she's ever heard of the word before. She said she hasn't. Captions or no captions doesn't matter. I should, in that context. I should the shit out of you son of a bitches. <laughs> How? Don't worry about I, it. No, that's not gaslighting. Or is it? R right, that's not gaslighting. Or is it? Right, I that's had not to... not gaslighting. <laughs> right, I had to tell you the, dis the <laughs> definition of gaslighting earlier. You don't have the right to already start using it. When you clearly don't know how to use the term properly. <laughs> anyway, I'm actually going to go back to reading. He demonstrated he doesn't know the term. Shush. Oh. By trying to say that was gaslighting when I was... Shush. I, I will now continue reading. I'm really glad we were able to find a sitter at such short notice. I know Maya seems quite odd to be needing a sitter, but I try to avoid leaving our daughter home alone if possible. Oh look, another... Another safe spot! Which is quite understandable, the house does seem rather foreboding after dark. Yes, children can require supervision even at that age. I, I would say the first one. Yeah. Yeah. The what second the, one sounds really good. second one does... It also doesn't make sense, honestly. Nah. Does, does it, it really? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Well, in any case, it's not the house. It's just that she's going through a difficult time right now. Oh, God damn it, already! <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry to hear that. How so? We can either pry or just say I'm sorry to hear that. I, well, I want to know what's up. <laughs> Welcome says pry, so we're prying. What's up? Well, we recently moved here at, from another state about six months ago. Anand got and offered to be a director at the NHU hospital. We wanted to stay together as a family, so we packed up and sh shifted our lives. It was rather abrupt change for Maya, you know, leaving her old friends, her old life, the house she grew up in. She'd taken it a little hard. She hasn't made any friends at her new school. She spends a lot of time alone. Anon feels guilty about it because we moved for his work, but it. I almost said. I almost wrote that as dictatorship. <laughs> but the dictatorship. <laughs> oh. But the directorship at the NHU hospital is a once in a lifetime opportunity. It was only right for him to accept it. Maya's behavior doesn't make it easier on him, though. Couple that with her overactive imagination, and it can get a little stressful. Look, another... 
two choices we can have. You probably don't need to be saving it every month of these. I will add a spike just because you said that. Change can be hard for children at this age. What kind of behavior are we talking about? I mean, like, to me, it kind of makes sense to be asking these sorts of questions because you're the babysitter, so I, I guess go with the second one. Well, it's nothing serious, really. She just like to murder people. Sorry. Uh... <laughs> Please don't misunderstand her me. Understand her me. <laughs> What? I, I said, please don't misunderstand her me. <laughs> misunderstand her me. <laughs> Should we really be letting Bright do all the reading here? Shush. Maya's a wonderful child. In fact, she's very bright for her age, which may be part of the problem. Why bright? <laughs> she's very bright for her age, which may be part of the Problem. <laughs> wow. It's, it's, not, it's not part of the problem. That's. <laughs> man, that seems weird. This is. Yeah, she's so smart. Yeah, this is kind of. Uh, well, wealthy family upper end is starting to kind of feel a little. It's just a little ableist in here. Yeah. She's thoughtful, she reads beyond her years, and she's surprisingly mature for her age. It's just that she still hasn't come to terms with the move. And unfortunately, she's expressing her distress in rather disconcerting ways. Bro, stop stop beating around the bush. Just tell us whether <laughs> she's killing people or not. <laughs> How so? Children generally act out of their inner turmoil when they can't talk about it. <laughs> what? Okay, so we that go actually... for either. Go, go, go for the second one. Go, go, yeah, was... do it. Do it. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna say we either go with, uh, continuing to be a basic ass bitch or armchair psychologist. Armchair <laughs> psychologist. And might as well do the armchair psychology. Well, that's exactly what her counselor said. Uh. <laughs> I must say that I'm quite glad I'm leaving her in your care tonight. You seem to understand children. She is struggling with a lot of emotions. She's just turning 12, so she's on the cuffs of her teenage years. She's in a new school, and you know how difficult school can be at that age. Hormones, boys, and all the rest of it. Did you say cups instead of cusp? Shush. <laughs> She's on the cups. <laughs> Watch out. She's on the cups. My my daughter's been acting a little strange. She keeps standing on the cup. <laughs> We're not sure how the cups were standing their weight. It just is. <laughs> She's really small. <laughs> She just keeps, she just keeps getting in the cups and standing and standing in them, <laughs> standing on top of them as well. <laughs> um, yeah. And Ond and I are busy for much of the day, but we try to talk to her about our feelings whenever we can. But that's not been going too well. The problem is she refuses to speak plainly about her feelings. Instead, she makes up outlandish stories and let her imagination run amok and she tries to draw us in, into her morbid make-believe tales okay she might be a killer <laughs> this is bad oh is... well, he probably shouldn't say that well like yeah uh, she might not be a killer She's just not mentally well. There we go. I wouldn't say that either, but... 
not mentally well, like, like insane part, like, mean... like, mess, like, messed up with the emotions and stuff like they said. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Her counselor says it's a coping mechanism. A kind of stress response adopted by bright children. Possibly a way to get attention. Perhaps a way of telling us that she wants to leave and go back to her old life. What about my That's children your... now? That was your problem. Fuck off. What? This all makes sense now. Fuck off. What? You know, what more, was? More, morbid, <laughs> morbid fantasies, and this is the sort of stress response oh my right children have. Shut up. Oh, yeah. But... There's actually one thing I wanted to tell you, Hatchet. Remember when I was telling you that book 10 is somewhere in the basement? Yeah. Well, apparently, uh, uh, my mother remembered, uh, what happened to book 9. What happened to book 9? Uh, she, she had to go to work, so I didn't get the full story, but apparently it was burned. Why? I don't know. She was going to tell me tomorrow. I see. For some that reason, just... it was just burned. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Well, I'll find out tomorrow. It's a pretty standard thing. Hey, Mom, where do you think these old, like, scrapbooks that meant a lot to me were? Oh, I think we still have one of them. Oh, did you know what happened to the to the ninth one? No, what? I fucking burned it. <laughs> it got burned. Don't ask me how. Yeah, as far as we know, one through eight is still missing. Well, considering the 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 canon explanation for what happened to nine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that bodes well for one through eight. <laughs> anyway. What what's troubling is that she's never been this way before. She's normally not an attention seeking child. Oh, look, another safe spot. We don't have to do this. <laughs> I'd say I was doing it out of spite. Her counselor is no, probably right. What kind of bizarre ass version of spite do you have? No, because he said you don't have to do it, and that immediately wanted to make me do it. That's not doing it out of spite. That's just you doing it because you want to be impractical. <laughs> Anything I should be careful about? Any triggers I should avoid talking about or doing? That's a good response. Yeah. Well, not really. Like I said, she's perfectly normal. And not really a difficult child. She can be a little moody at times, that's all. And she might, if you probe, well, try to scare you with some of her stories. About this house, for example. kind of stories, and I'm sure I can handle being told stories. I'm sure I can be handled be handled be, mm. I'm sure you can. It's just silly juvenile stuff. The kind kids tell each other when they gather around a fire. Uh, uh, gra <laughs> gather around a fire. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, you know, nor normal, normal, normal twelve-year-old things gathering around a fire. <laughs> well, like gather around a campfire, like, like during like uh, I think she means like during like a summer camp or some shit like that. Well, yeah, like it. It actually does say campfire. I'm just mocking the fact that Bright said fire instead of campfire. <laughs> anyway, when they gather oh, around. Oh, so, oh, yeah. So, so they're they're just gathering around, like, uh, 
house burning on fire. Yeah. yeah. Just chanting. <laughs> <laughs> that sacrificing the house to the old gods. You know, just teenage. Just got a new quote for my. Just got a new quote <laughs> Sacri- for my dad. <laughs> sacrificing the house to the old gods. <laughs> I, I sacrificed my burning house to the almighty bookworm, the knower of all bookworms. What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. I, actually, I'm. I have two new new cards for my deck. <laughs> bookworm just says okay. <laughs> Wait, are you adding the bookworm thing too? <laughs> No, no, I didn't. I didn't hear that. No, I, oh. I said I sacrificed his burning house to bookworm, <laughs> the almighty bookworm, knower of all bookworms. <laughs> I just sac- I accept the sacrifice as bookworm. One, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec, okay. one sec. I got to put this in. Here, where the fuck is Are you it? doing oh. quotes? The channel. Yep. <laughs> yep. Where's where's the quotes channel? Which one? There's two. Five. Eighteen plus and right. It's in. It's not eighteen plus, so I'm not putting in eighteen plus. Um. Quotes and things. You, I sacrificed this house to the great book form, you said? Yeah, I know, I said... Or great and powerful. I, I sacrificed almighty this burning book house book. to the almighty bookworm. <laughs> Nowhere of all bookworms. Uh, okay. <laughs> One spood to rule them spood. <laughs> Wait, no more of all bookworms. This is why I know everyone who calls themselves a bookworm. <laughs> yes, you do, bookworm. <laughs> yep. Well, there's one. There's there's one who used to call herself a bookworm here. So, yeah. At least one. Um. Oh, anyway, while you're doing that, I'm gonna read this. That's a lot of people to keep track of. <laughs> Anyway, mm-hmm. don't worry. Don't worry. You're, you're, you don't, don't worry. You have all the tools you need as a bookworm to remember these things. Just keep a journal. <laughs> <laughs> all right. When they gather around a campfire and try to scare each other, I suppose she may have overheard something about this house, and she slashed onto it and blown it out of proportion. It troubles us how morbid and disturbing her imagination can be. <laughs> if Momo sees that, they're going to question it. <laughs> if anyone sees that, they're going to question it. <laughs> Look, look it's, a pretty, it's a pretty it's a pretty universal human action to question your bullshit. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't I didn't put I didn't put who said it. Fuck. Yes, or did, did I? Yeah, you did. Uh, yeah, you did. Just put bright at the end. Oh, yeah, you yeah. put dash bright. <laughs> yeah. The bat this house or children love dark stories. Why do you think fairy tales are so gruesome? I forgot all the stupid shit you sent me. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, in DMs? Yeah. Yes, I was... That's how I get to my deck, generally. Uh, children I'll... loved... Uh, but that's such... <clears throat> that's such a bad reasoning. Yeah. Also, children love ducks... Oh, go ahead. Uh, Adorna, did you see my... A recent message I sent to you? Uh... Hello, Deli Rings. Yep. Wait, which re- which, 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 which one? The, the, the message is underneath the man in the woods. Okay. Uh, yeah, I see that. 
What's up? You want to join? I'm I'm fine with joining. Okay. Do you need like a composer to pour it or? Uh, we we got we got the music. It was just the designing what SCPs to use and everything. That's uh, at the moment. Anyway, hmm. welcome to the group. Okay. Wait. You already have a group with these people. Are you sure you want to create a new one? Yeah, we're. That's the Ouroboros casting group. <laughs> Alright, that anyway. And then, what I was gonna say is, uh, uh, it's really, really flawed logic. Why am I being bonked? <laughs> what? Uh, it's really flawed logic. The children. Here, 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 here. Wait, wait, wait. Here, here, here you go. Oh, no. They, they, they. <laughs> They bonked all three of you. They, they bonked all three of you. Hello, mm -hmm. Deli Ring. Hello. Anyway. Welcome in. Hatch it here, Saint. Okay. said it's really flawed logic. And she's not even here, so... She's not even here, so... <laughs> You're just bonking. Hatch it? So he's just getting bonked out of nowhere. Hatchet. Hey, Hatch, you there? I, uh, never mind. Okay. All right. Yes, I'd rather not go into all of it. It's just nonsense anyway. And besides, that's exactly what she wants for us to get drawn into our hysteria. In any case, her counselor has always also told us not to engage or react. So if she does try anything, please be patient, be firm, but gentle. What Maya needs now is a little sanity. So about tonight, she's already eaten dinner, and her bedtime is at 9, which is under two hours away. The time should pass quickly, there are snacks in the kitchen if you, sh if you should need it. She pauses and appears to be searching for words. I know that I may have come across as a bit severe when we spoke earlier on the phone. I have to be careful about who I choose to care for Maya. She's having a hard time as it is. That's okay, I would have done the same if it were my daughter. It was pretty intense, but no offense taken. So the first. Yeah. Thank you. I know now that I have nothing to worry about. I'm impressed by your understanding of children. You must be great with them. I like Maya to come in now so you can meet her. Wait, Deli Ring says try and Try and imagine she was driving in yellow light, and then he gets smacked on the head, then turn around. That's what Deli Ring said. Oh my god. You <laughs> 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 hear voices approach. Shreya's and that of a young girl's. They are speaking in low voices, but you sense tension and conflict in their voices. The child's tone is brusque and irit, while Shreya's Brisk. tone is stern. Brisk and irate. Irate. It's, it's irate. Yeah. What? <laughs> I thought it would be irate because it, it's spelled weird. Okay, never mind. This is Maya. Say hi, Maya. Maya? Hi. Her voice is so, is so low, you can barely hear it. I'm just telling Maya that we're only away for about three to four hours, and that she must go to bed no later than nine. She'll cooperate, of course. Isn't that right, Maya? You sense a warning in her tone. 
Maya? Yes. That mumbled reply again. Ah, another save point. It's great to meet you, Maya. Or, we'll make sure you're in bed by nine, right, Maya? I didn't say, just do the first. Right, we have to be off then. If there's anything, please call. I expect you'll be fine. Maya's in good hands. Look, another safe spot. Most of the game is just me saving. <laughs> uh, don't worry, we wouldn't need to. Everything will be alright. Thanks. I'll call if there are any issues. Uh, call. I guess the second thing. They both work. Alright. Yes, please do that. Goodbye. On a big boob lady left. A few minutes later. Mr. and Mrs. Fraj have left. An awkward silence descends as Maya stares at you. There is about an hour and thirty minutes to go before her bedtime. Or visual novel. Yep. So, what would you like to do? So we... Both of those kind of go together, so. Yeah. What would, would you like someone. to do? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. But thanks. Uh, thanks, Kit. Why not watch some TV or read a book? You want to talk? Want a snack? Say you want to talk. I would. I would say talk. Okay. Yeah. Talk? No thanks. Immediately shot down. Uh, this is, oh yeah. Oh, had you, you were responding to Delly rings. Never mind. I didn't see that message. <laughs> uh. That awkward silence again. You shouldn't have come. You shouldn't have taken this job. You should leave. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Why would you say that? Um... Now, that's not a very polite thing to say, is it? Why should I leave? I wouldn't say the second one. I, I, I would say smile. Mm. Yes, first yeah. one. Because you're not safe here. Go while you can. Okay, this is the last time I'm saving. So that's getting annoying. <laughs> and I don't even know if you... You're getting close to like... like <clears throat> well, it shouldn't be the last time you save. Yeah. What am I... It's, just, it's, like, after, exactly? it's like after this, you just die. Yeah. <laughs> After you say that, after you say that, you immediately die. Um, I would go with the first one. All right. I can't tell you because you'll not believe me. Nobody believes me. I can take care of myself. Don't worry. Maya, how about we talk about something pleasant? What are your hobbies? Um, do the first one. Like, it sounds like the most like you're not writing her off. Yeah. Okay, if you say so. I'd like to go up to my room now. Sure, go ahead, do whatever you want to oh. do. Will you be okay by yourself? <laughs> do you want me to hang out here and... Do you want to hang out here instead? Um, I would go with the second one just to make sure. Like, if I was like yeah. actually in the situation, I would probably like ask the second one. So, I'll be all right. <gasps> I'm old enough to take care of myself, you know. I told him not to get a sitter. Not safe. 
You, you mean you think you're not safe with me? I'm sure you can take care of yourself, but your parents just want to make sure you're okay. Say the second. You're gonna say- Yeah. I, I, yes, yeah, either, either one, I'd say. My parents it's your don't choice. really- Oh. So. My parents don't really care about me. If they did, they yeah. would have listened to me. They don't. Anyway, it's not safe for you. Uh, first one is actually one of my danger from, and um, the other one is just dodging all. Go, go with the other. first one. Go on the. Go on the first first one. I, <clears throat> I just want you to leave before something happens to you. It feels like you're going in circles with her. Well, I can't. You're stuck with me. Why don't you tell me what exactly I'm in danger from? Yeah, go with the second one. Okay. Because you're, you're, the thing, the fact is, yeah, you're stuck with her, but like, well, she's stuck with you. But like, I'd say that in this situation, the best thing is to try to gain as much information information as possible mm -hmm. like if you're in a situation where you're getting pulled by like uh what the fuck what it's like so right was that you tapping coming. no well thanks it so. wasn't tapping it sounded like banging there's no closer to banging. There's no banging going around near me, so I mean, there, there could be someone fucking in the other house near me, but I mean, there's no banging what? or anything. What? Kind of sounded like clicking your mouse rapidly. No. Yeah. I haven't touched my mouse. Yeah, it's oh, sort like I clicked and changed the thing. I haven't changed it yet. It sounded like some kind of like rapid th thing. Well, I I Rather don't like tapping or I I don't know. Maybe my mic messed up for a bit. I don't know. It's the game. It possessed mm. your computer. <laughs> anyway, I can't. I know what happens if I do. You'll think I'm crazy. You'll laugh or patronize me. Anyway, at least I tried. I'm heading up to my room now. What are you gonna do up there? Not bedtime yet. Go with the first one. I'm going to read, maybe write in my journal. Why does it matter anyway? Don't worry, I'm not gonna burn a house down or anything. Just... Look, if you're not going to leave, then... Just whatever you do, don't go near the basement, okay? No matter what you hear, don't go near it. Please. Let's go to the basement. Of course you say that right after, like, they tell you not to do that. You're bright. She's not even out of earshot yet. <laughs> I know. It's like, ah, to the basement I go. <laughs> she leaves you standing alone. That's bright for you. I'm immortal, so it's fine. I what? An invasion yeah. of private. That's not private. how your immortality works. <laughs> That's not how your immortality works. And oh. immortality doesn't excuse you <laughs> in an act of invasion of privacy. Or we we could take it an easy and well paying job and just leave in a few hours. <laughs> just bookworm. <clears throat> anyway. Ouch, that didn't go too well. It was just as Miss Rush said, Maya is definitely a troubled child. No sooner had they left than she began to try and make the situation uncomfortable. You'll just have to ride this out. If she spends the rest of the evening upstairs, things should be fine. You can hang out here in a lounge and pass the time until the parents get back. 
It should be easy to do. Still, the conversation with Maya has left a bad taste in your mouth. She definitely seems like a bright young girl. It's a pity she's struggling with the pains of the changes in her life. But growth only ever comes from change, and that's something she'll learn over time. Huh? You decide to wait it out. It doesn't own um, On one of the comfortable couches here. But sure, it is as comfortable as it looks. You practically sink into the plush leather. Ten minutes later. What was that? Came from the f this floor somewhere. It sounded like a door opening. Did Maya come back down? Okay, this is definitely where we do have to save. Mm -hmm. Go and investigate. <laughs> why, why, were, why were you saving so much before? Because I can. <laughs> like you, you. you seriously don't know how like much well like yeah they probably gave you enough like save spots for you to save every single time but like it, was, it looked like it was six times nine or ten yeah in yeah. terms of the number of save spots yeah. all right a sound came from the near from near that staircase over there you distinctly heard the creak of a door opening <laughs> This had better not be Maya playing around. There are three doors here. The door to your left, the door to your right of the stairs, and there appears to be a door behind the stairs, under it. The stairs lead up to another floor, presumably where the bedrooms are. The sound you heard, that, that creak of a door opening, came from one of these doors. You're sure of it. So, probably we'll save here as well. Check the doors to find out which one was opened. Yeah! Shit's sake. Check the door under the stairs! Oh. It uh, would be like berating your character so much. <laughs> doors ajar. Yep. Is it Harry Potter? Maybe. This must have have been a sound you heard. It's through, Harry Potter. Through the gap in the doorway, you see only darkness. Yep, definitely Harry Potter. I'm waiting for a fucking jump scare. It said you have to click the door. <laughs> you didn't get me, bitch. What are you doing? I told you to stay away from the basement. Jeez, you scared the hell out of me. What? Just what do you think you're up to? I told you to stay away from the basement. Why don't you listen? <laughs> Book was in Maya got me. <laughs> Hit. Maya. She shot me. Why doesn't anyone listen? Maya, what is it? What exactly is going on? You don't gain anything by doing this. What's that supposed to mean? Are you accusing me of something? I'm not doing anything. You came down here and opened the door, didn't you? Yes, you are. Your mother warned me that you would do something like this. Oh, wait a second. One. Oh. No! Uh... Oh, well. Ma blames me for everything. I'll bet she told you I'm making up stories. She tells that to everyone, even total strangers. But I'm not making stories up. I bet she didn't tell you that the, what the real estate lady told us about this house. I just came downstairs now. I heard you moving around downstairs and I came to check what you were up to. And I saw you near the basement door even though I told you not to go near it, no matter what you hear. So who opened the door? Was it me okay, if that's what you're saying? You know what? You're all the same. All of you think I'm lying. Even my counselor. Maya, what's really going on? If 
I tell you, you just call me a liar, and you'll accuse me of stuff I didn't do. So I'm not going to tell you anything. Do whatever you like, but for your own sake, stay away from the basement. No matter what you hear. Right, what did uh, what did the real estate agent tell you about the house? Right, she's gone back upstairs again. This is so so not going well. You're just gonna have to write this out somehow until our parents get home. This is definitely getting uncomfortable. No wonder Miss Raj is concerned about the girl. Children express stress in varied ways. We've seen this in children who are going through traumatic changes in their lives. The poor girl. You better close this door, not that you're overly alarmed about what Maya said. But the sight of the open door is a bit creepy. Uh, there. what I wouldn't... Oh? What I wouldn't do for just a tiny bit of healthy communication. Just... Just, just, just sit down... You know, just, just like, have her come sit down on the couch, make mm -hmm. it clear to her that you're not going to laugh at her, and just listen to her. God, what I wouldn't do for just a little bit of actual communication. Yep. Is... Bookmark says, traumatic changes equal people not listening to her. Well, I mean, that kind of, like, the traumatic changes part makes sense. Like, she's had her life uprooted lately, but a part of it is definitely that it seems yeah. like literally no one is actually trying to healthily work through her or help her work through her emotions. Yeah. Even a counselor. What? Watch. We find out it's a church counselor or some shit. Oh someone no! Someone who's not actually someone who's not actually licensed. Yeah. All right. There. That's better. Back to the comfortable sofa, staring out into the darkness of the lawn. I stare into the darkness, and the darkness stares back. <laughs> You'll sit tight until her parents get home. A few minutes later. Really? Again? Come on, this isn't fun anymore. Why would she... I want to investigate. Yeah, go and investigate, and what I'd say is, if you get the option, go up to talk to her. What, what the hell is that? Someone's crying? It's coming from over there, near the stairs. I, are you okay? There is no response. It's coming from the door behind the stairs. I like how the top one's being worried, the bottom one is like, I'm going to call your mother if you don't stop this shit right yeah, now. Yeah, the bottom one's just <laughs> absolute dickhead mo. No <laughs> sensitivity whatsoever. And the top one is ineffectual sensitivity, like not like like not enough that's like the most consistent thing that's been happening maya still no response this is really aggravating the sound of the weeping is troublesome <laughs> the sound of the weeping is troublesome <laughs> what the fuck uh, god the doors open again Crying is coming from the pitch darkness beyond it. There's no way you're going to open that door. There's no way you're going to open that door. <laughs> Looks Maya... like the game's smarter than you. Yeah. Maya may be in there, ready to spring out and scare you, and you're not up to... for being jump scared. You don't really want to die of a heart attack on a babysitting gig. That's not what you, what you signed up for. You better shut that door. Phew. The crying has stopped. 
This can't go on. Better put a stop to it now, or she'll keep doing this all night. And by the time our parents are back, you'll have died of fright. It's probably a good idea to talk to her. Confront, confront her. We should wait here until she comes out of the basement. She can't stay down there forever. Or you could go upstairs and wait there. When she sneaks back up, you could catch her in the act and then talk to her openly about what she's doing and why it's not going to help the situation. Probably go upstairs. Go upstairs. Yeah. Go yeah upstairs. Head upstairs. That way you're going to walk in. That way you're going to knock on her door. She's going to be in her room. Mr. Ross told you to be gentle but firm. Maybe it's time to focus on the firm a little. Talk directly and firmly to her. Ask her about what, whatever is bothering her. Maybe what she needs is direct talk. Sometimes the best way to address something with children is to get the heart of the problem. She might open up and that would make things easier for her. You didn't think to try that from the start? There are three uh, doors on the side of the hallway. One of these is probably her room. You feel exposed standing here in this hall. She might see you before you, you see her. Maybe you should wait inside her room for her to get back. That would startle her. Sometimes the best way to get a child to listen is to give them a taste of their own medicine. She should probably try the doors to find out which one is her room. Which door should we check first? Left, middle, right. Uh, the le left is best. <laughs> and let's just hope that you actually... Oh. Locked. Left is best. Oh. Come on, knock on the door. Don't just walk in. This must be it. It's a pretty nice room. She's not here. Still, you feel a little guilty about being in here. It is, after all, her bedroom, and therefore private. If she doesn't show up in a couple of minutes, you'll leave. Still, it would be good to startle her a little. Illustrate what it is like to get jump scared by someone. Why do you keep skipping the, like, the parentheses bits? Oh, I always am paying attention. Yeah, like, there, you've been, like, completely skipping several parts of dialogue. Shush. A pretty neat desk for a 12-year-old. It must be where she spends her time studying and reading. There's an open book on the table. Something about that book draws your attention. It's her fucking journal. Don't read her fucking journal. It's filled with urgent handwritten text. Curiosity grips you. You really shouldn't be here, in this room, let alone looking at her desk, but... Something about the writing, about this manic scrawl. The writing is dated a couple weeks ago. I feel compelled to take a closer look. Read the fucking diary. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god, I hate... <laughs> so far, the games are really good, but you hated both of them. <laughs> the first one I hated because... Gross. And this one I hate because it doesn't give you the option to actually try to be a good babysitter. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I I encourage you to go upstairs because I figured it'd be best to try and sit down and talk with her. And that's the only time when the character seems to think, maybe I should just sit down and talk with the child. <laughs> but no, instead, I'm gonna go, you know, not even knock on the door first, break into her room and start reading her goddamn diary. What the fuck is wrong with this person? <laughs> Thursday, 11th. I heard her again last night after both Mama and Dad have gone to bed. I was lying in bed nearly asleep when I heard the sound of her weeping downstairs. I knew what would come next, and sure enough, I heard a faint shuffle of her footsteps. As she made her way up the base of steps and up the stairs. Then she was in the hall outside my room. I heard the squeak of my room's door handle turn. I stayed under the blankets, my eyes shut tight. Thank God I locked the door. It had, has become a compulsive habit and drives Ma, Ma and Dad crazy. I'm going around locking every door in the house. 
Maybe for my anxiety. After a time, she went away. Friday, 12th. At breakfast, I told Ma that I heard the sounds again the previous night. The weeping and the footsteps. Ma glared at me and Dad didn't even bother looking up from his plate. Ma said, I want you to stop this, Maya. It's becoming tiresome and annoying. There's no one else in this house but the three of us. What about the... What about the real estate lady told us before we moved in here? I blurted. She said, That was a tragic incident, but it happened in this house many years ago. It has nothing to do with us. You're obsessing and imagining things. Ma said, almost in tears. I nearly burst out crying. It wasn't always like this. In our old life, before we moved here six months ago, they used to listen to me and take what I said seriously. Now no one believes anything I say. Oh, how I hate this house. But am I going crazy? Is she real? Am I the only one able to see and hear her? I remember when I first encountered the lady in the basement. It was just after we moved in. I was alone downstairs. I heard the basement door creak open. I went to check. I went down there and nearly died from terror. I ran upstairs screaming and told Mom and Dad what I, what I saw. They were alarmed and searched the basement and then the whole house. But he found nothing. All he saw in the basement were old packing boxes stored there. The lady in the basement. I remember her when I saw her coming up the basement stairs out of the darkness. I remember a blast of rage and malevolence. Beloveds, I fear for my life. Another time, a week later. It's, it's, it's right. It's pronounced malevolence. Yeah, I know, but I was in the middle of yawning when I said that, so I couldn't say it right. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Another time, a week later, late at night, I heard her weeping downstairs. I ran to mom and dad's bedroom and crawled into bed with them crying. Dan searched the house again, he searched the basement, even though I got hysterical and begged him not to. He found nothing. This happened a couple more times, now they look at me not with concern but with suspicion and even anger. Ma thinks, thanks to my counselor, that I'm having some kind of breakdown brought about by our move across the country and teenage hormones. It's true that I hate this state, I hate my new school, and most of all, I hate this house. I wish we'd never moved here, but could they be all be right? Could it be true that, that the trauma of change is driving me insane to make me see things? Seated by that awful story that the real estate agents want? <laughs> About what happened in this house all those years ago? Am I going crazy? Some nights... I lay in bed, wide awake, waiting for sounds from the basement to start frozen in terror. Friday 27th. Okay, so I'm not the only one who hears such Caesar, which means I'm not going crazy, but it also means the situation is dangerous. Yesterday, mom and, mom and dad have to attend a party thrown by an old friend of dad's. I think it was one of those boring adult parties where everyone stands around sipping drinks and talking late into the night. They hired a sitter, a sweet 22 year old girl, Nadia, who goes to the, to the BH college nearby. I really like her, she was so pretty. I was up here and it was around 9 when I heard her scream. I ran her downstairs and found her covering cowering behind the sofa, her face ashen. She was pouring towards the basement door, and I knew at once that Nadia had seen her too. I asked Nadia what happened. She said that she heard a basement door opening, and then a few minutes later, the sound of someone weeping. She thought it was me, and she went to investigate. She opened the basement door wide, and then she... Hey, just what do you think you're doing in here? You're reading my diary? It's so creepy. I'm, I'm going to call my mom. I should have locked my door when I went to the bathroom. And just for once, I didn't lock my room and see what happens. Please leave my room. Now, you see, here's the thing. 
That is the single most expected and valid response. Yeah. Like, and uh, it's the... entirely our fault for being pieces of shit. And the first response, wait, I was here to scare you, instead you got me again. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so given given the situation since you've already been the fucking dick face and read her diary. Do the second well, one. Yeah, do the second one. Do the second one. one. Just 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 uh, uh, empathize with her. Oh god, he shouldn't be in this house. The last sitter, it didn't go too well for her. We should leave this house now. What happened to the previous sitter telling her about this? Lady in the basement. She hot? No kidding. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> okay. This is, you 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 deserve this. Wait. And Bookcorn did this. it too. You, you, you. Mm -hmm. Double bonk. What was the story the real estate agent told you about this house? You see, there's really two good questions. What happened to the setter? And what was the story the real estate agent said? So the thing I was going to mention... Mm -hmm. The sitter. Is... Do the sitter one first, and she was talking yeah. about the sitter. The, the thing I was going to mention is... At this point, given my uh, decent bit of knowledge on the history of true crime and just creepy encounters... At this point, if I was this girl's parents, I would be thinking, is there a squatter somewhere in the house? And more importantly, mm -hmm. should I be looking for some place that is, you know, out of sight, harder to find? Because there have been cases of that, like literal hidden compartments in houses where some squatters, you know, squat. And like, these people most of the time are just completely harmless, but it's still going to be creepy. And in that case, the the person's obviously scaring your child, so you need to deal with it. You don't ignore the child's concerns. Ev everyone in this game is an asshole. Except for the child. Including you. Yeah, including the player character. Well, actually, Guilty maybe not charged. the player character, but the per person who's who's talking to the player character because the player character is not trying to do any of this shit True, the player character is a well yeah true wait so i guess that kind of just means it's bright bright's an asshole <laughs> as the head priest to the church of assholeology i agree to that statement <laughs> assholeology oh my god it is the religion that studies how to be an asshole and get how to get away with it. It is the religion that studies assholes. <laughs> oh, we really study assholes. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I think I think Brian's fine. I think Brian's trying with that other one too. She makes <laughs> enough jokes about them as it is. I fucking love this religion. <laughs> uh, what happened to the previous sitter? I guess you mean yeah. I guess you mean Nadia. She saw the lady in the basement. That's how I think that of that thing down there. In caps. Wait, in caps. In caps. Period. <laughs> What does that uh, mean? She saw the lady in the basement. That's how I think of the thing down there in caps. <laughs> just, yeah. just... You know what? I, I think I'm going to take a, I think I think I'm going to take a, 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 a leap in logic and say that the child is having troubles wording her thoughts because she is scared. <laughs> that um, is my conclusion. I'm going to say I'm gonna say she was trying to say, like, cap, like in caps, like, sorry, uh, no, no, no uh, per like period, you know, like how people say, like, 
like mm -hmm. say, say something that they're like period like when they're yeah. like trying to like make a uh... point or something wait <laughs> look for nope only assholes allowed but it's not lady in the basement <laughs> Anyway, Nadia heard her her crying. She thought it was me, and she went down into the basement to investigate. When I found her, she was screaming and hysterical. I could barely understand what she was saying. She said that the woman came at her. That's what she said. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I got Hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> she called my ma and told her that she was leaving the house. That she, she didn't want to stay a moment longer. Mom was furious and asked her why, but Nadia would not say why. I mean, it sounds crazy when you talk about it out loud, so I don't blame her. Also, I think Nadia didn't even want to think about what she saw, let alone talk about it. She was so shaken. Nadia was up here with me when Ma was talking to her on the phone. She just listened to Ma wordlessly, and then she left without a word. When Ma came home, she was furious with me. What? Do you, what? With you? Let me guess she thought you scared her away. I'd go with the second one. Yeah, she thought that I told Nadia about the lady in the basement and spooked her. That's why I didn't want to tell you anything about it. About all this. I just wanted you to stay away from the, that basement. Because I knew you wouldn't believe me and because I didn't want Ma to say that I scared you away. Tell me about this lady. Oh! Okay, so we actually do get to see it. I want to, I want okay, to know the so story. Yeah hear about the awful awful crimes committed on these grounds before we moved here dad wanted to find a place near the hospital where he's working so he got in touch with this with this real estate firm and she showed them a bunch of houses mom didn't like any of them finally the agent told them that she had one more place on her file she brought us here mom loved this loved the place at once it was spacious had a nice lawn and a pool two floors what's not to love even better was the rent. I remember how Dad was really ha happy about how cheap the rent was considering its size. Okay, if there's a really nice looking house and the rent is cheap, that's not a good sign. Oh, you see, that's the thing. I've always held to this idea. If I'm ever out looking for a house to buy or rent and, like, I'm able to find information on it being super cheap, cheap because some horrific crime was committed there or if it's or it's supposedly haunted yeah uh i'm 100 percent immediately taking that deal i'm not saving your ass well you see that's the thing if it is haunted i just have cool roommates and if someone <laughs> died there so what we're living on stolen land where natives were killed constantly anyway. I'm just living in a slightly more recent gravesite. <laughs> as well, fucked as it to is to you. say. I highly... I do not put much of any stock in the idea that the super... That supernatural entities can directly affect the physical. Fair. Wait, they're renting this? I thought they had bought it for some reason aren't these people rich yeah that is weird why are they renting this wait <laughs> that actually i didn't even quite think about that what <laughs> do i just not know something about like about like high, high upper upper class culture or like that seems odd yeah the only issues with the house oh. Ma said was that even though it's a part of this suburban property, Whitefield Groves, it looked a little a little run down. That was when the real estate agent told Dad and Ma the story. She said that the last long term residents lived here nearly a decade ago. Family of three. 
The man was some kind of businessman, and he used to travel a lot. His wife was a housewife, and he had a four-year-old girl. Okay, I'll stretch and then hydrate. Also, He's apparently gonna... it might have bitten my tongue, because now there's a bump rubbing against my teeth, and it hurts. Mm. Oh, gee. Also, just going to guess, the businessman... Okay. Um... Here, here, here's something to help you with that. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that was well timed. Um What was I gonna say? Um um Fuck. Um God What was I going to say? Oh. I train of thought. It's gone. Um, something to do with house. Yeah, it was like, there. it's about to tell the story. It was about the story about the family and everything. Right, right, right. Uh, my prediction is that the businessman's going to come home having made a loss and then kill his whole family. The thing that's is, such a, that's a constant trope. You're, you're not far off. The wife had some kind of ongoing mental disorder. Depression, I think. Some kind of psychosis. Those are not the same thing. <laughs> she would hear... I'll, I'll let it slide <laughs> because we are talking to a 12-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> she would hear voices or see We're things. talking to a 12-year-old who's, who's, like, trying to, like, like re remember, like, mm. something, like, she was told, like, Probably like weeks to months ago. <laughs> yeah, months ago at this rate. Yeah. And on top of that, obviously dealing with some blatant trauma from the freaky ass squatter slash ghost lady living in the base. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> she was taking medication for it. At one point she began to believe that her husband no longer loved her. That he was plotting to kill her. What? Why did she kill him? <laughs> <sighs> it could have been long hours al alone, or maybe she was slowly descending into madness. But at some point, she broke, and in a moment of madness, she killed her daughter and herself. Oh, fuck. Is Oh, no. She's the fucking squatter. Mm. <laughs> I love it. We're just going to start calling the ghost the squatter. Yeah. Anyway. I, I asked the real estate agent in which room she'd done it, and she said she didn't know. But I think I have a pretty good idea where it happened. The house okay. stayed vacant for a long time. Bad mojo, I guess. There are a couple of residents in between, but most stayed for a short time, then moved on. You are about to say something, Hatchet? I'm gonna, I was going to say, then this becomes pretty obvious. It's, it seems that the... The, the, the squatter is either the child or the mother. Yeah. Considering the weeping... Actually, yeah, considering all of that, I'm guessing that it's the mother. Yeah. Yeah. I guess they either saw something or felt uneasy. This house had been empty for almost three years before we moved in. Yeah, it's, it's definitely the mother because... She called, uh, the lady a woman. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, All right now we're learning about the lady in the basement. I heard it sounds about a week after we moved in here. First, the basement door kept opening by itself. Always when I was alone in the lo lounge. I was too scared to go near it, so I kept ignoring it. I thought it was maybe a draft. Once it opened, when Ma was with me, she just shrugged and said that the door was stiff. And so it sprang open. She said we would get it fixed. But then one day, I heard the weeping. And I could not help myself. I went to the door. I went down there and I saw her. I saw her. I had been living in terror ever since. I heard some nights, sometimes she just weeps. Other times she wanders the house. Nobody believes me, 
Ma and Dad think I'm making it up, get them to leave here and go back to our life. I don't know what the lady in the basement wants. I don't even know what she is, but when I saw her, I sensed rage and dis such despair. I know she wanted to harm me, even kill me if she could. But I knew at once who she was. She was the lady from the story. The story that the real estate woman who got us this house told us. That's pretty crazy. Hasn't your mom or da and dad se seen or heard anything? Well, definitely not the last one. It's the last one you're saying this is some thinking it or still thinking it's a prank. Yeah. Um first is that's pretty crazy, and second is hasn't your mom I, and dad seen or or heard anything? Yeah, I would say second. I wonder should second we one. do an do we, should we do a second playthrough of this game where we purposely try to be the biggest dicks possible? <laughs> <laughs> this, this game makes it pretty easy to be an asshole. Yeah. Well, like, it, well, you're already an asshole because you already, like, went through her shed. Yeah, it's, it's It makes funny. you the asshole a bit. All right. Anyway. It forces you to, to. Yeah, I feel like yeah. the only way we could have avoided becoming asshole is if instead of investigating the the basement door the first time, is if you just went upstairs to try to talk to Maya. Yeah. All right, so that wasn't an option. But All anyway, right. yeah, go ahead. No, they said they haven't. Maybe they have. Maybe they're just blocking it off or something, or explaining it any away. I'm pretty sure they haven't heard that horrible crying. You wonder how any of this is possible. Could any of this be real? Do you believe me now? Wow, we can immediately be an asshole. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. You're a lying little shit. You're lying to me, child. <laughs> I was... Yes. We want to say yes, I do. Oh, thank you. It's great that at least someone doesn't think I'm crazy. I've been living with this for a while now. I'm losing weight. The counselor at school thinks it's because of the move, and it changes, and it changes in my life. But I know why it is. It's hard for me to concentrate in class. I keep thinking about her, of the madness that drove her to kill her own daughter and take her own life, and I get scared. What if I go mad like that? Maybe that's what she wants. Did you try telling the counselor the truth about all this? Or I'm sorry to hear that. Also, I've been looking at the painting to see if I can try and picture an Among Us character, but I can't. What are you... what? Why? <laughs> I don't know. Is your, does your brain operate on nothing but <laughs> dumbass memes? <laughs> what? Why are, you, why, why are you doing that? Look for said Rip, I'm sorry for you. Yeah, I, I'm guessing... Sorry to hear that. What do you think? I, I would... I would want to try to see if she has been able to open up about this to the therapist. Yeah, alright. I did. How do you think it went? You Dang. started talking about putting me on medications. I don't want that. I don't want to be the one of those kids, you know, a walking zombie hopped up on prescription drugs. So after that, I went with his story. Yeah, it was a change. Poor old Maya misses her old school and her friends. Look, just leave, okay? Leave this house and go. I'm, I'm stuck and I have no choice. But you do. Okay, so I will again say... Uh, I think this kind of happens a lot with horror stories at this point, but it does feel as if a bit of ableism is kind of baked into the world building around this. 
Yeah. But besides that, I won't leave you alone. That's what we choose? Yeah. All right. I ain't leaving a kid to deal with this on their own. That's nice of you. But it's dangerous. I can't ask you to do that. What if something happens to you? No. I am danger. <laughs> All of a sudden, I just pull out a Glock. This bitch gonna <laughs> die tonight. <laughs> you know, they said it's for... Se you know, I, I, t I tell them I, I keep it for self-defense. But actually, I've always wanted to be a little bit like the Ghostbusters. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. We're gonna go, we're gonna go fucking caps. We're gonna go fucking cap some asses and some ghosts. It's <laughs> just completely drunk guy wanting to go murder ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna go cap some asses and some ghosts. <laughs> Hmm. Anyway. Nadia, the previous sitter, I think she saw something terrible down there. <laughs> Sometimes I think that maybe the lady in the basement is looking for her child. My mother... Maybe mothers who hurt their children are never able to forgive themselves. Even after they die. You should go. Mom will probably blame me again, but I'll handle it. You see, if that was the case, I think your mother would be a bit more understanding. Yeah. It says, all right, if you insist, I'll leave. I told you, I'm not going to leave you here alone. I'll wait until your parents are back. Yeah, the, the second. Thank you. That's very sweet of you. And brave. I wish I was that brave. Would you mind if I go to bed now? I would like to try to sleep. I'm really exhausted. Sure. Good night. Try to get some sleep. No, you're staying up with me. We're gonna fucking hunt some ghosts, little girl. Well, you're back downstairs again. So this time we ignore it. You're gonna sit yeah. tight. You know you're doing the right thing. No matter what, it wasn't right to abandon her and flee. Not when her parents asked you to watch her. The kid that's is right, you're... after all. That's, that's, that's what you're, that's, that's what you're worried about. The yep. fact that the parents entrusted you. <laughs> not the fact that to abandon her, you would be leaving a traumatized child to deal with whatever the fuck is in the base alone. God, I hate the player character here. <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep up appearances so I don't lose my my babysitting license. <laughs> anyway, and leaving her alone while her parents are away, especially after they entrusted her in your care, just didn't feel right. And if any of of it is true, the insane story of the woman in the basement, why you're gonna have to deal with whatever comes. Time passes. <laughs> it's, it's getting less and less distinct. First it was ten minutes, then it was time passes, or then it was a few minutes later, and then it was just time passes. Yep. <laughs> Nothing so far. Uh, uh, right. I don't know. I here we go. Quotes and things. Moderna has... <laughs> <laughs> I've always told everyone that I have for self-defense, but I, but I always wanted to be a Ghostbuster. <laughs> Footsteps from somewhere down below, from the basement. Uh-oh. Basement door. That was the basement door again. You've got to see this through. You're not running away. You have to find out the truth. Hey, Hatch, Even... was, the, was the quotes in 18 correct? I think I had it correct, then I, like, had a... Sw 
<laughs> I moved oh, over you, there, oh, so I, I forgot it. I mm. didn't notice quotes in 18. <laughs> Shadow back. immediately questions it. Let's see. I, I got to cap asses in some ghosts. <laughs> uh, no. Uh. Yeah, I think that's that's about as that's about as good as you're gonna get. Maybe Bri can go back and clip it later. Maybe. I got to. Oh wait, no. I think it was something along the lines of I got to ask some caps in this in some ghosts, something along those lines. But whatever. We get the general. Um, I, right. No, I think. All right. You have to find out the truth. I got another. I, I gotta add that other one too. Ah. Anyway. <laughs> You have to find out the truth, even though your heart is running so hard that you that you fear it might crash. Can any of what Maya said be true? You fear your heart might crash. It's wide open. The sounds are coming from down there. The smell coming is wafting and these up. these are definitely going in the deck. A vile stench of corruption, of something long gone to rot. Smells overwhelming, overpowering. It hits you like a fist. What a terrible thing walks down there. I don't even get a choice to just go away. Or shut oh, the door. Oh, come on. No, just... just don't. <laughs> God damn it. First the, first the game makes you be a dickhead, and now the game wants you to die. <laughs> I'm waiting for the jump scare. It's pitch dark. The smell, it's unbearable here. It's difficult to you think. Didn't bring a, you didn't even bring a fucking flashlight. What are you fucking doing? <laughs> you were an idiot. <laughs> and yes, yes, and, and now, now we, we die. die. That's right. Yeah, and now we die. That, that is right. <laughs> There that, are... that, that is a hundred percent accurate book. <laughs> well, time to, time to get give, give that nice you, child. You went a into the base. You went. You went into a basement where there's a ghost who could potentially kill you it's without a... a flashlight. It's it's okay. I don't need a flashlight. You, you, you're just asking for death. I don't need a flashlight. I have a Glock at you. Just stop breathing. Do you know what a right Glockachu now. is? No, and I don't want to know. It's a Pikachu that has a Glock. Oh, whatever. What I was going to say is, well, <laughs> time to give this little uh, innocent child even more trauma when they have to pull the dead body of a babysitter out of the basement. <laughs> there are moldy boxes piled up at the center of the room. Oh, hello there. Hi, lady. They're not hot. Right, stop just instantly <laughs> commenting on things like that. I said you're not hot. No, that doesn't matter. That's actually... A t <laughs> uh, anyway. Let's not objectify the ghosts, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Who's there? You feel a sense of foreboding, a suffocating blackness overwhelm you. Darkness ascends, clouding your mind. You cannot move, cannot even breathe. Terror grips you. A despair like anything you've ever known fills you. You sink into it, grief rising in you like a black tide. Oh, hi there. You find yourself slumped on the sofa in the lounge. Your head aches. Your hands are shaking. You spring to your feet. Hatchet? Oh. Wait, we're back to this guy. What voice did I give him? You just give him like, like the second grader trying to speak like, kind of voice. Yeah. Uh uh, you're you're up. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get back?
Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> make, make it even more like a <laughs> like a seventh grader reading the script for the first time. <laughs> About ten minutes ago. We found you downstairs, in the basement of all places. You were lying on the floor, passed out. Why did I just turn into a colonel or something? <laughs> Maya told us to look for you there. When we got home, we found Maya upstairs quite shaken. She was near hysterical. She told us that she heard you scream and that you might be hurt in the basement. It took us a lot of effort to calm her down. Gee, I wonder if that might be because, you know, you've been really neglectful parents up to this point. Yeah. She kept saying it was her fault. She should not have accepted when you insisted you stay. She says that you talked about what she calls the lady in the basement. She said you told her that you believed in her. It's shameful that you would encourage her like this. Play along with the delusions of a child. Oh, God. Oh, fuck you, jackass. <sighs> you found... Oh, my God. You found... What kind of mental loopholes do you have to go through? You found your babysitter unconscious in your basement. Your daughter gave you a list of events. And then you assume somehow that you were being irresponsible as a babysitter by accepting the child's delusions even though something clearly obviously happened to you that would lead you to get knocked out in the basement i want to strangle this man <laughs> shreya will be here in a moment she wants to talk to you before you go uh-oh i feel like we've got like a bad ending or something maybe goodbye Hey, Mom won't kill me if she sees me talking to you, but I had to see you before you left. Did you see her, the lady? Did you see her? I'm gonna say yes, I did. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. You see, I was telling the truth. Thank you for believing me. I'm so glad you're not hurt. I can't believe you stayed on despite what you knew. I know that must have taken a lot of courage. That means a lot. Maybe I can be like that and have that kind of courage too. I'm sure you can or you're courageous already. You're courageous already. Thank you. Well, I really have to go now before Ma sees me talking to you. She'll come down hard on you. That's just the way she is. Don't feel bad. Until she sees it, too, she'll never believe. I'm sorry all this happened to you. You never asked for this. Axed. Shut sh your hole. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be okay? Uh. Well, I know I'm not crazy now. And you went down there and faced her. I, I'm gonna try and face my fears and be brave too. Thank you for showing me that. That me. Thank you for showing that me I can. She's still a little shook up. Give her a break. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. God, I just want to give her a hug. Yeah. Uh oh. The big blue lady. Stop. <laughs> and Maya was and never I was... seen or heard from again. No, bookmark. Uh, I must say that I'm sorely disappointed. We put you in charge of looking after her. And Anon finds you lying passed out in the basement. He says you weren't drunk or on drugs, but I find that hard to believe. 
At least you stayed on, unlike our last sitter who left the child alone and fled. But I'm not sure I should be grateful for that considering the situation. You encouraged my daughter's sick fantasy and you've probably set back our progress with her by weeks in doing so. I'm gonna go with the first one. Yeah, your daughter isn't lying. There really is someone or something in this house. Really? So she dragged you into our hysteria and you believed all of it. This is exactly what her counselor warned us not to do. Since you work with children, I thought you would know better. There's nothing wrong with Maya. It's this house. Goodbye. We'll be passing on our feedback to your agency. wonder if it would have been better if you had said, I don't know, I feel like I definitely saw something. Right. Well, that didn't go as you planned. You've been sh shown out rather unceremoniously. Miss Raj was clearly furious, so was Dr. Raj, but what Maya said, what you saw in there, that sense of abject despair that washed over you in the dark. As you leave, you turn to look at the house. You think of all that happened. And you wonder... One week later... End. End. Wait, did you, did you actually, like, have a chance to look at what that was? No. Did you just click it? No. Uh. Well, that's it of the babysitter. There has to be multiple endings. Probably. So we gotta I'll, try that again. I'll look it up to see if there thing. is... I'll look to see it. No, the game is really. I think it was only made like a week ago, like finished made. So it could only have one ending at the moment. It, I mean, given the, I mean, we can still try. Yeah, I I'll so look it up before we do. Like if there actually is, yeah. I won't say how to get it. I'll just say, see if there yeah, is one. If the, yeah. I mean, I can just go look. Oh, the babysitter. By Crooks Game Studios, because there's multiple basic games. And Crooks is spelled C R U X. C R U X. Oh, Bookham said it was just a babysitter request for the same house. Ah. Uh -huh. 